I'd imagine that if you're someone who watches every YouTube video I put out, you'd probably have noticed at least three things by now. One, a majority of the games that I review are Bro Road. Two, I have an unhealthy addiction to anime titty. And three, I absolutely hate Ubisoft games. And the reason for that is because for the past few years, every single Ubisoft game that has ever been released has come close to looking or feeling like the exact same game. They more than likely have some kind of open world to explore, and in that world you usually have some kind of a waypoint or, or tower that reveals the map to the player after they accomplish a task or unlock it. This happens in like every single Far Cry game, it's present in every single Assassin's Creed game to date, and somehow, from what I've heard, they managed to stick it into the crew. And not to mention the fact that Ubisoft shits out Assassin's Creed and Far Cry sequels faster than Activision can produce a new Call of Duty sequel each year. They're even starting to do it with their less successful franchises like Rainbow Six and Watch Dogs. Dude, I remember back in 2007, I was 15 years old and I was just sitting on my big old comfy chair playing the original Assassin's Creed and fuck what the reviewer said about that game because I liked it. I always remember the one big complaint that people had was that you couldn't skip cutscenes. So when you died, you just had to watch the cutscene again. Okay, first of all, how the fuck do you manage to die in a game where the combat system is so simple that all it requires you to do is press X at the right time? There is no skill involved in that combat system. It's Muslim whack-a-mole. Not to mention that the second game changed the combat system so dramatically that now every single third-person action game on the market has a spam X combat system. I'm looking at you, Rocksteady. I mean, look at things realistically, and almost every single game that comes out nowadays is open world. And I mean, yeah, sure, I love open world games and I love exploration, but goddamn, sometimes I just want to play something like Bayonetta, something linear with content that has been streamlined, not just, you know, wander around and find the objective or the thing to do. I actually don't even know where this video is going. I originally made this with the intention of talking about my impressions of the steep beta, but now it's just all over the place. Open world games, Assassin's Creed being shit now, and well, just Ubisoft being shit in general. But see, here's the thing. I feel like this year in particular, Ubisoft has become slightly less shit? Sure, they still managed to make a laughing stock out of themselves at E3 like they do every year, but I actually bought one of the games they made last year. That is of course Siege, and while it's not perfect, it's definitely a step in the right direction for them. I don't really want to go into the details about it because I do plan to make an opinion video or a review of the game eventually, but I'll just say that I really do like this game. So besides Siege. Ubisoft managed to announce a game during E3 that actually looked like not only a good game, but something that I personally wanted to get my hands on. Obviously, I'm talking about Steep. I stated that in my E3 video, I was excited to play the game, so you can imagine my even bigger surprise and delight when Ubisoft said they were going to do an open beta for it. And I mean, hell yeah dude, sign me up, I'm all for trying games before I buy them. Though, main reason I wanted to try Steep before purchasing it was because, well, it did look really fun and different. But I was afraid that there was going to be a huge lack of content. I imagine since, well, this game was obviously going to be open world in some way, after you explore every mountain and find and complete every challenge or race, y you would just be, well, done with the game. It just didn't seem like the kind of game worth spending $80 on when you'd be able to complete all the content in like under 10 hours. Now, I don't know anything about the full release, but I can say that after spending about 5 hours with the game last weekend, I don't think there will be a lack of content, just a lack of interest. Most of my time was spent running around with my friends not actually doing challenges. On top of that, I didn't actually get around to finishing every challenge, mostly because I just, well, I, I couldn't grasp the tricks and the jumping, and well, well, some of the challenges were honestly just too hard for me to complete after trying some of them for over 30 minutes. But honestly, regardless of how many challenges there are in Steep, the game isn't just about getting the highest score before everyone else. Sure, you compete with one another for the simple sake of competition, but it's really just about having a fun, comfy experience with your friends. Whether it be via snowboarding, skiing, skydiving, paragliding, or just walking around and climbing stuff like we all did. So besides giving a bunch of their games open betas, Ubisoft has started rolling out free content for their games. This is by far the most left field thing I think Ubisoft could ever do since, in my eyes, these guys are the kings of rehash and DLC. Or, wait, maybe the kings of DLC might be paradox, but... Anyways, there was an article on PC Gamer that was titled, Ubisoft to stop selling compulsory DLC. 
if you don't know what that means, the article puts it very clearly in the line below, Ubisoft will no longer sell expansions required to enjoy the core experience of its games. The reason I'm most interested in this is because I'm wondering how it will relate to Steep. Originally, I thought Steep was only going to have one map and the beta was only showing half of it. But, according to a post on Reddit, which I don't take with 100% legitimacy, something interesting reads right at the bottom of it, which was posted by, apparently, a community manager. We are beta testing the core game on half of the first map, the Alps. The full game will double that playground. Then Alaska will soon follow, doubling that. There is talk of Japan and Norway for the future too. You aren't done. The launch is just the beginning. So, since all of Siege's maps have been free, does that mean that all of Steep's maps will be free? Cause if that was the case, I would totally pick this game up on a sale. Now, this is all entirely based on assumption, and I'm not saying that the maps are going to be free. I'm really just putting two things together and hoping for the best outcome. So more than likely what this article actually means is that Ubisoft has just now noticed how popular skins are on games like CSGO, Overwatch, and pretty much every other Valve game. Cosmetics are king in this industry right now. And if you can provide a way for players to look and feel unique from one another in an online environment, they are without a doubt going to eat up that superficial uniqueness. So does this mean that Ubisoft's games are great again? No, definitely not. They're just realizing that if they appreciate their customers, people are more likely to end up buying their games since, well, people like being appreciated. Oh, and also they like good games, I think. Does this mean that you should go pre-order Steep? Uh, no. The main point of this video is that somehow Ubisoft has slightly, and only slightly, managed to redeem themselves in my eyes. But you play a still seeming pile of garbage that barely works as intended. Please fix your shit, Ubisoft.